So here we go. We're back. Thanks for joining me back out in the shop. Uh, I just got done making a quick little video on how to ground wires down to sheet metal, like on a car body or something. And this one will be how to ground down to, let's say you're mounting some boat trailer lights or uh, got a big common ground on a frame rail somewhere or something. Okay, this is uh, probably 11 gauge sheet metal here. It's rusty as tarnation. Uh, I have drilled an 11 30 seconds hole through it. Now I aim for this to work out for a quarter inch stud. So that's why I drilled an 11 30 seconds hole. And you'll see later, you'll see why I drilled a big stud hole later. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up with my, uh, my abrasive wheel or my, uh, yeah, one of those wheels on my right angle die grinder. And uh, I'll just clean that up, knock off the worst of the rust and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got a double lot tip and it is a little bitty, bitty, bitty tip in my torch. I mean, it's a little one. And I think this is 16th inch, don't know, brazen rod, pre-fluxed, the stuff you can buy, buy at the hardware store, or not the hardware store, but the welding supply or just about anywhere, steel yard. So I'm gonna get me some good fire coming here. And I want a little bit of a lazy flame on this. I don't want an oxidizing flame, I want a carburizing flame. And we're gonna hit this right quick. And the idea here is just to give her a good coat of brass. And if you wanted to do this to both sides of the sheet metal, if you can get to both sides, that'd be great. You don't have to. I usually don't. Like I say, I, I often use this method on boat trailers. Because uh, the lights on boat trailers are always corroded up on the grounds and there's no ground lead you just you just got a, fr a frame ground i gotta kill that flame down a little bit i hate breaking my heat like that but i had too much heat there we go now we can build her up a little if you got too much fire coming out you'll push your you'll push your braze you push your brass around more than you want Okay, there we go. I'm gonna let that cool a little bit and then I'm gonna go over to the water bucket and baptize it and then we'll be back. Okie dokie. So I braised, braised her up there, went and dunked her in the water. Now you may or may not be able to see Right over here, there is a uh, slag. Now this stuff is hard as glass. You do wanna make sure to remove as much of the slag as you possibly can, because that slag is non-conductive and paint might stick to it, but when the slag finally flakes off, the paint will flake off with it. But if this was like on a trailer or something, I would try to do this on the backside. And then I would go to the Fasten all if I had to, you know, fasten all's got everything. It might be expensive, but they've got it. But go somewhere that's got a good selection of nuts and bolts and get you some stainless steel star washers because that stainless steel star washer will bite into this and get you either some stainless steel or some brass nuts. They ain't gonna corrode, but that will give you a long lasting ground point that they're, it's just not going to fail. And if you combine that ground point with 
a soldered eyelet, now you've really got a really good ground connection that you're probably not going to have problems with until you break a wire off or something. Um, oh, and by the way, I drilled this hole 11 30 seconds to start with. This is a 9 30 seconds drill bit, I believe, and it just barely goes in there. So we lost a 16th of an inch of diameter. And, uh, you know, this would still work for a quarter inch, but, you know, it'd be awful snug by the time you had alignment errors to get a 5 16th pair of 5 16th studs through there. So always drill your holes a little bit oversized before you braze and that'll uh, give you a good layer of brass all the way around in the hole so you don't get rust starting down in there that expands and pushes your connection apart. And there's the back side of it. You can see quite a bit of uh, slag has run down through there. Again, if this was the real world, I would take precautions to get that cleaned off, but being this is just a demo, it's okay. Uh, but there you go. Now you've got a ground connection that's not gonna fail quickly or easily. So I hope you all enjoyed enjoyed this little video. I hope you learned something. If you got any questions, ask them in the comments. Uh, do keep your comments polite and clean. We don't need to be sounding like the demoniacs Gadara. If we can't talk without cussing, we should just shut up. So anyway, with that being said, you all drive safe on the way home. Watch for deer.